Hey guys, what is going on? It is Taboki here once again, and it's time for a Maple Monday. It is March 3rd, 2014. Indubitably, it is a Monday. So today I wanted to go ahead and go over some of the Maple Story news that is happening in GMS, as well a little bit of Maple Story 2 updates. Before we get into that, you guys know the drill. Let's go over some of the Maple Monday submissions. All right, to start off our Maple Money submissions, my friend Eric here looks like duo Pink Bean with his friend, and it says Kristen and Eric has slayed Pink Bean, and that is pretty awesome achievement there. Even though Pink Bean is cute and cuddly, he is one fierce bean. Congratulations, you two. Sophie has created a pretty awesome <laughs> picture of me. It says congrats on 40k, and it uh, looks like I am some sort of Spartan warrior with a whole bunch of arrows in my chest, and that is a glorious picture. I'm, I'm digging the flowers. Crowdite from Windia drew a pretty cool lotus picture, and that is very mystery, creepy, and dark. I like it, I like it. Thank you very much for the lovely submission. Yamikage02 drew a lovely submission of Tang Yoon in his younger days, and there's a panda chef. He is so awesome, so majestic, so fierce looking when he was young. Panda Express. An awesome screenshot here submitted, and everyone's sitting on the Mesa Ranger heads, chairs, and that is so cool. Look at that majestic screenshot of all the Mesa Ranger heads. They're just so sky high right now and lovely like, and this is actually in Kiny, which makes me proud and loud. Rebels Fire here drew a pretty cool Evan picture, and I really like that. Look at Murr, looking all majestic like, and that is a very cool picture. Thank you very much for the submission. And this last submission here is actually some fan art. Oh, I love fan art. It says, Bye Won and Hey there, Daboki. It's fine if you see elephants climbing trees, I see them too. Such an awesome picture. Thank you very much for the submission. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so much for submitting those lovely Maple Monday submissions. And of course, you can submit any Maple Monday submission to thedaboki at gmail.com. More of that will be in the description below, -zers. So, Maple Story 2, some exciting things are happening. And I always love to keep updated with Maple Story 2 website makes my heart flutter with little excitement butterflies. So Maple Story 2 finally revealed some of their characters that we can be expecting to see. Of course Bella, the villain of the story it seems like. She's got green snot coming from her fingers and it's uh, pretty intense. So there's a little backstory on her and how she's so upset and upset and more upset and angry. Apparently she lost someone that was very close to her and uh, there was some disruptance in her heart force. And the next character in Maple Story 2, there's the Empress Ereb, and she looks like she is the, the fairy of the story, and she's gonna be the Empress, and you can't have an Empress without an Empress, obviously. So it seems like she resides in a place called Trea Palace Garden, or Treya Palace Garden, something like that. And uh, so she's a protector of the world, and of course she'll probably be our boss, so we have to go ahead and Go to her for quests and achievements and say, hey, give me give me something to do, Empress. Let's go on an everlasting quest to fight the Black Mage, who we never get to fight. Anyways, that's some of the Maple Story 2 news, and we're always excited to see more on that. And I'll keep you guys updated every so often, just showing you guys some of the new Maple Story 2 things. You guys can tell I'm pretty psyched. Once I see my first archer panties, I'll probably lose it. But anyways, hopefully Maple Story 2 will be pretty awesome. So the last little thing I wanted to talk about on this Maple Monday was GMS Global Maple Story is improving their ways to banning hackers. Now this was always a problem in the past because a lot of innocent people would get banned falsely because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time and innocent accounts were being banned. I do know a lot of you guys have had this happen to you. You guys were messaging me on Facebook or Twitter or even leaving comments on my YouTube videos saying that you were innocent, you don't hack, but you were banned for hacking. So this happened to me actually a while back. Um, I was in Aqua and I was jumping around having fun in the water and I jumped up too fast and I got caught in a weird place and my game crashed and it said I was caught hacking. I couldn't log back on, and, you know, because I was stuck in this zone in Aqua, apparently, where it was the hacking zone. They thought I was trying to fly hack or something, and it's interesting because in Aqua, you're always flying. Luckily, the game updated and some patch came out and my character was reset in some other location. But you know, we've all had this happen. You pick up things that were dropped in FM or you see really low prices on items and you go buy it, you know, why not? And you get banned because they think that you're the culprit of the dupe hacker. It's like you're walking down the street and you see a quarter on the ground. You're like, ooh, a quarter. And you pick it up and you're like, I wanna go buy a gumball machine. Unfortunately, that quarter was a huge missing link to a murder of five goats and two Two cows and then you were caught with it and now you're arrested those poor animals 
and that stinky corner. So anyways, MapleStory is trying to implement a better secure way to investigate in these hackers and the dupe hacks. So instead of just quickly banning someone because their algorithmic computer said that someone was hacking and it looks like it on paper, they're trying to do it more personally. So GMs are maybe trying to go on a more personal note and investigate these hackers, make sure that they're actually hacking before they start putting the ban hammer on people because a lot of innocent people were getting banned and it really sucks because it makes you not really want to play and it's hard because they're, they're accusing you for things you don't do. It's not your fault you pick up things that are dropped. I mean that's part of MapleStory. You press the Z button to loot things and if you see things on the ground you're gonna pick it up. You're not gonna be suspicious about it saying oh is this a dirty item? You know, of course it's dirty. It's on the ground. Like pig ribbons. You know, I would really be suspicious of pig ribbons. They're super dirty. They're on a pig. But they're so adorable. So it seems like also what they're trying to say is they're going to be less harsh on players that find glitches or little loopholes in the game. You know, of course, if they use a third party source, they will get punished. But if there's a glitch, like I remember a while back where you would buy a potion and you can resell it for twice the amount and you were making some pretty good meso of that. Because necessarily that's not your fault. Fault, right? That's kind of MapleStory's fault for having that code written wrongly and you're just doing it. This kind of reminds me of a story actually. A while back when my friends got charged a hundred dollars for a bottle of water in the vending machine because the programmer who programmed the vending machine, um, they programmed, you know, it's supposed to be one dollar but the decimal was moved over so that was a one hundred dollar water bottle. So it charged his card because, you know, you can swipe your credit card now in the vending machines and you can get your goodies but it charged him a hundred dollars for one water bottle and it took them like months to get him his money back. They had to go to court and everything, review the tapes, because they actually literally thought he bought $100 worth of water from the vending machine. It's like common sense sometimes, you know? Like sure, the computer says things, but you have to actually be a person sometimes and know that, hey, maybe computers do make wrong mistakes. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, just want to go ahead and update you guys on some of the MapleStory news, and I hope you guys do have a glorious Monday, a glorious week, and a glorious day. This has been Deboki. I want to say thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to make these videos for you guys, and we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye!